Hey. Hey. Rookie hero. Wake up. Wake up. Do you not hear me? Wake up. There you go. Open your eyes. Oh, hello there. You've been knocked out for quite a while now. I assumed you're confused and on how I escaped from that prison that hero put me in oh so long ago. Oh. It's not really that long ago, but you get what I'm trying to say here. Uh, <laughs> these are prosthetics, but since I can still move my hands in these prosthetics, I can still use my power. They're connected to my arms via nerves and whatnot. And since my quirk has weakened because of the lack of me using it, I only connected it to my actual living body by a few nerves and skin cells. So, by default, my quirk is still useful, but now only for a matter of time. But you, let's get back to you now, shall we? Your quirk is very much useful. Well, to me, that is. Because you see, I know your secrets. I did a little bit of research on you. Getting trained under the second pro hero, Hawks. Training your special ability to heal the weak and restore everything they lost. You have a very similar quirk to the little girl I had. Oh, so you do know, Harry. <laughs> very interesting, very interesting. Well, it says here that your quirk is one in a million. Very rare quirk. Even rarer than one for all. And it comes to my attention that you can heal with your quirk. And I know exactly what your quirk is named. Of course, it's right here on your record. Your quirk's name is Restore. Anything that you touch can restore itself from its youngest of age or where it was least damaged. Now, why did I take you is the real question here. It's because I need you. I need you to heal me. Make my prosthetics useless, but let me have my arms back. I knew you were going to disagree. I knew this already. Which why? 
I put you down here in my secret location. No hero has ever found this yet. But you have a first glance at it. Look, I'm not here to mess around with you. I'm here to torture you. To make you my experiment like I did with that little child. And if you think you can stop me, just get that pretty little thought out of your head right now. Because no one's going to stop me. Not this time. Not even you. Because you're a disgusting little insect. And no one's going to look for you. <laughs> oh, the look in your eyes is such pure fear. I love that. I love that very much. You know, I could just touch you without my gloves and you could be dead. But I'm not going to do that because you're useful. You're very useful to me. But in all the same, you're nothing but an insect on the wall to me. And I could easily smack you off of this planet. <laughs> oh, the look in your eyes are so pure. A mix of fear and also a mix of reality that you are basically my thing now. <laughs> this brings a very big smile on my face. <laughs> uh, okay, well. With you, I'm going to restore what I've created with that little brat airy. I'm going to recreate my creations to stop every single hero I can. And also, I'm going to get my hands on those little bastards who they call themselves the League of Villains and teach them who not to mess with. <clears throat> but thinking about the aftermath, it makes me sick to my stomach. Because I am going to kill them. I'm going to kill every single one of them. But I'm also going to keep you. I'm going to keep you. Yeah, I'm going to keep you here. And keep you reusing your ability. To get all sorts of material out of you. <laughs> because I decided that instead of using someone else's quirk, like Ares, to weaponize it and make a profit, I can instead use my quirk and weaponize it. But I need your quirk to heal me every time I use it. It's a foolproof plan. No one, and I mean no one, will figure out how or when 
these killings will happen. Because I have everything planned out in my mind. Now, you are going to be staying right here in this very room. You are going to be fed and watered every other day. Oh, don't you look at me like that now. It's not like I'm going to hurt you that bad. <laughs> oh, who am I kidding? I'm going to hurt you. Really. Really. Bad. <laughs> And since you already know of what's going to happen to you, I best not see you trying to pull anything over my head. Otherwise, your head is going to be on a mantle when I'm done with you. So don't. Piss me off. You got that? Pro. Hero. <laughs> good. Very good. No. Yeah. Excuse me. I need to go back to my doctors. Keeping up like this makes me very ill. I'll see you in about an hour or so. You better be awake. Bye.